out so I'm just gonna apply this NYX Angel Well primer all over my face to create a flawless base for my foundation and afterwards I'll be using this Krylon Thick Pen Stick and this one is in the shade Oriental to cover up all the dark uh, circles I have as you can see I have pretty bad dark circles so I'm just uh, applying it around my eyes and a little bit around my mouth area because it's a little bit dark as you can see and then I'm just going to buff in with this buffing brush by BH Cosmetics I'm just pushing the product into my skin and uh, now for my foundation I'm using this Maserat Miss Pastel foundation and this one is in the shade Almond and I'm adding few drops of this Farsali Gold Elixir and mixing it really well with my fingers and then applying it all over with my fingers as well. And as you can see, I'm just buffing it in with that same buffing brush by PH Cosmetics. I'm just blending it. And now, whatever you have left on your brush, apply it all over your eyes and apply some of the foundation on the rest of your neck. For my concealer hair, I'm using this Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline and this one is in the shade Tools Duo and I'm applying it under my eyes, on my forehead, bridge of my nose, my cupid bow and on my chin area to highlight and you know conceal my dark circles and my face. And then I'm going to blend it out with this tiny mini beauty blender. I'm you know blending it with a really light hand. I'm not putting too much pressure on it. So yeah, do it with a light hand to get a flawless coverage. Blend, 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 blend. Now set everything with this Scotty Airspun Translucent Powder. So I'm just dipping it in my beauty blender and applying it under my eyes and on my forehead and almost everywhere on my face to wet my face and mostly on my t-zone area because it gets oily so yeah now i'm using my favorite hula bronzer by benefit and i'm just going to uh, you know contour my face as you can see i'm just going to apply it and then i'm going to blend it upwards i'm just contouring my chin a little bit because i have a chubby face so need to control that and then I'm going to control my nose as well I'm using the same brush to control my nose I'm just pressing these bristles like so and then I'm just going to you know apply it um, around my nose and then going to blend it out When you are done with your contouring, apply some powder under your contour area so it will give you a really nice and sharp look. To fill in my brows here, I'm using this brow satin by Maybelline and I'm just going to fill in my brows with this pencil side. It's a dual ended, you know, pencil. So I'm just going to fill in first with this pencil and I'm keeping my natural shape. I'm not going to, you know, make it too dramatic but because it's a everyday makeup kind of look so yeah keep it simple keep it natural And now I'm just going to use the other side of my brush, I mean pencil, and I'm just going to, you know, smudge that product in. And afterwards, I'll be using the same concealer Maybelline Fit Me on a precision brush by Real Techniques. And I'm just going to clean all those harsh areas around my eyebrows so they look more natural and clean. Now I'm just going to blend that product in with this mini uh, beauty blender 
and brush it out with this spoolie brush by Sigma and now for my eyes I'm using this MAC soft ochre pen pot and I'm just applying it all over my eyes is a base and uh, for my eyeshadow I'm using this Huda Beauty Texture Rose Edition palette and I'm applying this sandalwood color on my crease with a Sigma E40 brush and I'm just using this as a transition color and afterwards I'll be using henna which is my favorite color from this palette and I'm applying over that uh, sandalwood color to give it a little bit more dimension and now I'm using this flamingo color which is a really pretty pinky kind um, dusty pink color so I'm applying it over and just spraying it my brush with some water and using this moon dust and shy color mixing these two colors and applying it over my eye to give it a really beautiful sheen as you can see it gives my eyes really soft kind of sheen and then I'm just going to blend it out with a brush I'm not using any product on and to highlight my brow bone I'm using this bay color from the W palette and applying that same color on my inner corners and for my lower lash line I'm using that henna color which I used earlier on my crease for my eyeliner I'm using this Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner in shade trooper and I'm going for a winged eyeliner because I love pink I really love a sharp clean green so I'm using this eyeliner which gives me a really perfect and nice wing so yeah I love this eyeliner and after applying my eyeliner I'm just going to brush it out all that powder which I use for baking and uh, now I'm going to apply some mascara here I'm using this Clarence mascara I love this mascara this one is really nice it's a tulip size but yeah I'm just applying it over my eyes I'm not going for falsies today because it's a natural everyday kind of look and I don't like applying falsies on everyday basis and then I'm using this elf blush in twinkle and uh, I'm just building up this color a little bit to set my makeup I'm using this max fix plus spray and applying it all over my face avoiding my eyes <laughs> And to highlight my face, I'm using this Show Gold Highlighter by MAC Cosmetics. It's a really beautiful gold with pink undertone. So yeah, I'm applying it on the highest points of my face, my cheek bow, my nose, forehead, and and now for my lips, I'm using this lip liner. I don't remember the brand name. I'll link it down below in the description bar. So yes, it's a really beautiful color as you can see here. And for my lipstick, I'm using this Jeffree Star Cosmetics lipstick in shade Pumpkin Pie. It's a really beautiful color. And over that lipstick, I'll be using this Balm Cosmetics lipstick. It's a mini one. And then blending it with my fingers. And yeah, we are done. Okay, so I hope you like and enjoyed watching this makeup tutorial. If you do, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!